Before we start today's topic, let's first watch a video. The video shows that a Volkswagen ID4X caught fire after colliding with a toll booth facility. Toll booth staff attempted to extinguish the fire, but were unable to assist due to the car battery swiftly igniting following the impact. Within a short time, the vehicle was completely destroyed, and the occupants could not escape. According to official Chinese reports, the accident occurred on June 5, 2023, at a toll booth in Hangzhou. Four people, including the driver and passengers, perished in the incident. Observations from the video suggest that the SAIC Volkswagen ID4 rapidly collided with the toll booth barrier at an angle, causing a violent compression of the battery located beneath the vehicle, which led to the fire. Public information reveals that the Volkswagen ID4X is equipped with NCM811 ternary lithium batteries, with the cells supplied by CATL. Due to the recent incident, public scrutiny has intensified regarding the safety of CATL's ternary lithium batteries, which have been a subject of criticism for some time. This renewed focus has accelerated CATL's downturn. CATL, once the dominant force in China's domestic power battery market and the world's largest power battery supplier, is now facing a significant crisis. In just two years, its market value has evaporated by over 1 trillion yuan. The beginning of 2024 did not bring the long-awaited bullish start to the Chinese A-share market. Instead, it witnessed a rapid decline, with the battle to defend stock values shifting from 3,000 points to 2,900 and even 2,800 points. The Gross Enterprise Market Index plummeted from 3,500 points to below 2,000, and then further to below 1,800 points. Among them, CATL, the leading company on the Gross Enterprise Board, accounting for more than 15% of its total weight, followed a similar trajectory. As of January 9, 2024, CATL's closing stock price was 148.7 yuan, with a total market value of 654 billion yuan. In just two years, CATL's stock price fell by 61%, with a market value loss of over 1 trillion yuan. CATL was formerly known as Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited, was established in 2011 and is specialized in manufacturing lithium-ion batteries for electric vehicles, energy storage systems, and battery management systems. In the previous two years, new energy and lithium batteries were hyped up in China, causing CATL's stock price to skyrocket like a real rocket. From 2019 to 2021, in just over two years, the stock price surged nearly tenfold. Starting in 2022, CATL's stock price entered a downward trajectory, continuing its decline into 2023. Within China's power battery industry, CATL maintained its dominance, consistently holding a market share of over 50%. However, as the stock price fell, so did its market share. In 2022, it dropped below the 50% mark to 48%, and further to 42.8% in the first 10 months of 2023, nearly 10% lower than its peak in 2021. Some attribute CATL's decline to the overall state of the A-share market, while others consider it a correction to its true value. Whether it's a misjudgment or a re-evaluation of value, what led to such dramatic fluctuations for a power battery manufacturer in just a few years? The root cause can be traced back to the Chinese government's subsidies for new energy vehicles. China's subsidies for new energy vehicles date back to 2009. At the beginning of that year, China's Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Science and Technology, National Development and Reform Commission, and Ministry of Industry and Information Technology initiated the 10 Cities 1,000 Vehicles Energy Saving and New Energy Vehicle Demonstration and Promotion Project. This project, funded by the central government, provided subsidies for the consumption of new energy vehicles in the public service areas of pilot cities. In 2012, the Chinese State Council issued the Development Plan for the Energy Saving and New Energy Automobile Industry 2012-2020, to further clarifying the subsidy policy, attracting many enterprises to the new energy vehicle sector. According to data from Qichacha, the number of new energy vehicle-related enterprises in China soared from about 5,100 in 2013 to 239,400 in 2022, a 47-fold increase. By early 2023, there were 605,800 existing new energy vehicle-related enterprises in China. The craze for new energy vehicles in China peaked from 2019 to 2021 
Besides the flood of newly established automotive companies, tech giants like Baidu, Huawei, and Xiaomi also ventured into the new energy vehicle market. Traditional automotive companies include SAIC, Chang'an, Dongfeng, Great Wall, Geely, as well as BYD, also aggressively entered the new energy vehicle fray. The government subsidies not only triggered a significant wave of automotive manufacturing, but also created numerous beneficiaries in the industry. Lei Jun, the CEO of Xiaomi, famously said, Even a pig can fly in the wind. Many Chinese commented that CATL was that pig caught in the wind. In 2011, the Chinese government excluded vehicles using foreign power batteries from the new energy vehicle subsidy list. This list, known as the Power Battery White List, required new energy vehicles to use batteries manufactured by companies on this list to qualify for subsidies. This list was exclusively composed of Chinese power battery companies, effectively barring foreign companies like Panasonic, LG, and ATL from the market, clearing major competition for CATL in its rise to dominance. Official Chinese media reported that government subsidies played a crucial role in the development of the new energy vehicle industry. From 2009 to 2022, the sales of new energy vehicles in China grew from 5,294 to 6.9 million units, with production and sales leading the world for nearly eight years. CATL rapidly became the world's largest power battery company, thanks to these government policies gaining significant attention in the capital market. Since its listing on the gross enterprise market in June 2018, CATL's market value soared more than tenfold in less than three years, exceeding 1 trillion yuan. Zheng Yuqun, the founder who holds nearly 25% of CATL's shares, saw his wealth surge by over 100 billion yuan within a year, becoming the richest person in Fujian. In 2021, as China's subsidy policy began to taper off, CATL, already on a downward trend, had encountered a life-saving deal the year prior, which lifted the company to its peak moment. Back in January 2020, Tesla's Model 3 began production in Shanghai, and Elon Musk signed an agreement with CATL, confirming it as one of Tesla's battery suppliers from July 2020 to June 2022. Riding on Tesla's coattails, CATL's market value exceeded 1 trillion yuan for the first time on May 31, 2021, and even reached 1.6 trillion yuan in December. The stock price soared 27 times from its initial IPO price of about 25 yuan in June 2018, reaching a high of 692 yuan. In June 2021, CATL announced it would sign a four-year major order with Tesla, supplying lithium-ion power batteries from January 2022 to December 2025. Tesla, whose primary battery suppliers were mainly Japanese and Korean companies, started using CATL's power batteries after building a factory in China, claiming it was to reduce costs, though the deeper reasons behind this move remain unknown. CATL, boosted by Tesla's momentum, became unparalleled for a time expanding its capacity domestically while beginning its overseas layout. However, there was a minor incident during this period. In June 2021, a netizen revealed that CATL, Tesla's battery supplier at the time, forced its managerial staff to purchase Tesla Model 3s. To support this claim, the netizen posted photos showing Tesla cars filling the parking lot under CATL's central technology building. Subsequently, an alleged CATL employee posted on a social media platform claiming that these cars were returned by Tesla due to battery issues and that CATL, lacking a public sales license, had to resolve this matter internally. Some netizens claiming to be CATL employees followed up by saying that managers and employees were forced to buy these Tesla Model 3s, especially those with parking spots in the garage. Those who didn't buy had to relinquish their parking spaces. In response to these statements, a CATL representative quickly clarified that there were no quality issues with these cars and no forced purchases. They were offered to employees at a discounted price of 199,900 yuan as a benefit. The entire fiasco sparked huge controversy online. CATL's battery safety has always been a concern among consumers. 
The company mainly focuses on liquid ternary lithium batteries, and a netizen compiled 20 new energy vehicle fire incidents in one year, 17 of which were confirmed to have ternary lithium batteries. Despite the dazzling halo Tesla brought to CATL, it did not last long. With the Chinese economy crumbling under the twin pressures of the zero-COVID policy and escalating geopolitical tensions, the CCP could no longer afford the substantial subsidies for new energy vehicles. On December 31, 2022, the CCP announced the end of the 13-year national subsidy program. The cessation of subsidies had an immediate chilling effect. According to data from the China Passenger Car Market Information Joint Committee, in January 2023, new energy passenger car retail sales in China reached 332,000 units, a year-on-year decrease of 6.3%, and a month-on-month drop of 48.3%. 80% of car manufacturers that had eagerly entered the market have now exited, Prominent new energy vehicle companies in China, like NIO, have struggled in recent years and remain unprofitable. NIO's stock price fell for three consecutive months, with its market value on December 29, 2023, closing at $18.9 billion, evaporating over $9 billion compared to its peak. Xpeng's market value on the last trading day of 2023 was $13.8 billion, far below its peak of just over $20 billion. BYD, despite leading domestic market sales, saw its stock price consistently fall from 2023, dropping below 200 yuan by January 12 of this year. With automakers struggling, CATL, reliant on these companies, naturally didn't fare much better. Starting in 2022, CATL began a downward trend entering a flying pig's landing mode amidst relentless declines. However, the seeds of crisis were actually sown at the beginning of 2021. Media reports state that around 6 p.m. on January 7, 2021, an explosion and fire occurred at Hunan Brut Recycling Technology Co. Ltd., a subsidiary of CATL. Brump is China's largest recycler of used lithium batteries and producer of high-end battery materials. Official reports stated the incident resulted in one death and 20 injuries. Witnesses claimed they heard a loud bang from 2 kilometers away, seeing a bright flash and a mushroom cloud rising. The day after the explosion, CATL's market value evaporated by 20.3 billion yuan. Its financial report released on April 30th, 2022, showed a loss of 600 billion yuan in market value within the first five months. Entering 2023, the subsidy-free new energy vehicle market faced challenges, dealing a significant blow to CATL, which had heavily invested in capacity expansion. The company's financial situation became worrisome. The third quarter report of 2022 shows that even after issuing over $40 billion in targeted fundraising, CATL's debt-to-asset ratio remains high at 70%. To put this into perspective, the median debt-to-asset ratio for real estate companies in a debt crisis during the same period is only 74%. At the same time, CATL's solvency indicators have also significantly worsened. In recent years, many domestic companies have entered the new energy power battery industry. The intensifying competition threatens CATL's leading position. Its overseas expansion is also hindered due to its close ties with the Chinese government, facing blockades from Western companies and governments. On December 6, 2023, Duke Energy Corporation in the United States stated that For safety reasons, it had disconnected the large batteries produced by CATL from its connection with the Camp Lejeune Marine Corps base in North Carolina. The U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, passed in August 2022, excludes Chinese-made electric vehicles, batteries, and other components from its supply chain. Europe's construction plans also face significant challenges due to official opposition and public protests. Amidst these internal and external challenges, CATL, once seemingly invincible, is now contemplating its survival strategy. 
The future of enterprises lies in innovation. Due to growing consumer concerns about the safety of ternary lithium batteries, the electric vehicle industry's development is impacted. To address the self ignition issues of these batteries, major companies in the US and Japan have already started developing solid state batteries. In recent years, domestic battery enterprises, including CATL, have also begun to venture into the development of solid state batteries. At the Shanghai International Auto Show in April 2023, CATL unveiled its innovative achievements in battery materials and systems, the condensed state battery. What exactly is this condensed state battery? Let's take a look at a netizen's revelation. This video was taken at the Guangzhou Auto Show at the CATL exhibition stall. The netizen commented, Liquid batteries in electric vehicles are prone to short circuits, fires, and spontaneous combustion. A better solution would be solid state batteries. However, since they are not yet feasible, a condensed state battery has been introduced. Water is liquid, jelly is condensed, but only stone and ice are truly solid. Essentially, this is just a conceptual substitution without solving the inherent issues of liquid batteries. The onset of 2024 brings challenging signs for CATL. Globally, the commercialization of solid state batteries is advancing with exciting developments, overshadowing CATL, whose market value has now been surpassed by China's Shenhua Energy Company. Some Chinese commented online. For CATL, it is about survival first and foremost. As we enter 2024, CATL's challenging days have just begun. The harsh sanctions by the US, joined by countries worldwide against China's new energy sector, will result in a situation far worse than what Huawei faced. Whether CATL will become the next Huawei is uncertain. However, the variety of deceptive practices to claim subsidies in the chip industry. Is no less prevalent in the new energy vehicle sector's government subsidies. Due to the government subsidies for new energy vehicles, some are higher than the vehicle's actual selling price, leading to various methods of fraudulently claiming these subsidies. For example, there are reports of falsifying vehicle registrations with no actual vehicles. Official disclosures reveal that Suzhou Qinglong Bus reported 1,683 new energy vehicles fraudulently within a year. There are also cases of falsifying key parameters to receive higher subsidies, collusion in battery repurchase schemes, and other common fraudulent methods. Every boom will pass, and not every pig will fly. What remains in the end is often a mess. The Chinese Communist Party's model of concentrating resources to accomplish large tasks and its emphasis on leading major scientific and technological innovations ironically suffocates corporate innovation and creativity. Therefore, whether it's Huawei, CATL, or any other industry under the CCP system, they cannot escape the party's control, and their fate remains unalterable, both domestically and internationally.